Hi, I need to make a little adjustment on this pattern because based on what I've seen here is a little it's kind of thick so I have to make it a little thicker basically so to do that I'm gonna select both of them right mouse click choose vertices so I'm gonna select that those vertices and I have to right mouse click again select Oops, hold shift key I forgot here we go just turn on move to and then just move it down a little bit you might need to press 3 to see how it look let's see I think that's good enough that's it okay just a little adjustment let me turn that off to see okay so that's about okay not perfect yet but that's good enough all right so now this section um, we don't have to do them twice because they are symmetrical and um, we can mirror it so first we need to analyze let me organize my scene a little bit Oop, not that one there we go template turn off so that one I will these two remove out of this layer okay and now I can template it okay. Oop. remove why is not remove hold on <laughs> remove oh sorry can't be removed yet because um, we extract this from that surface if you remember from from last section so what we need to do is uh, we need to delete history I'm gonna delete history all of them edit delete by type history there we go. now I should be able to remove off that layers so here we go up oh, still <laughs> hold on edit remove selected object why is that um, something else must be have history on it let me check oh they're still ungrouped so because of two objects I thought that um, normally if you delete history this group should be gone so we're gonna have to ungroup it ungroup so now yep so okay so I will put this inside that mesh layers I can template it there we go okay so now let's take a look at the reference so that not here we go this is the close-up one okay. so if I count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two so twenty two and it's about let's see the space from here to there is about the same size and has a little space there okay so now we're gonna start it to form the section right here so what the easy way is uh, we extrude and then we offset it and then we modify the uh, location of the edge so this is how it work so I extrude it offset let's say it have a one two less ten ten is about it's about right so how about eight instead let's see yeah let's do eight okay eight I think it's about right so eight now after you done that there's a section right here 
I hide this. So if you right click and choose face, can you see? These face are overlap, but it's on the back. Uh, you just need to hit delete. So now this edge need to be moved up. So we're gonna turn on move to and hold W key, left mouse click, custom, set to phase. We want it to move along that phase. So and I'm looking at on my reference. It's about right. Right there, that gap. Maybe. Now same thing as these, but you need to do it again. W left mouse custom phase. And then pick that face and then move it down here we go okay so I did count them and it's about 22 right we can just leave it only 20 uh, 20 because nobody gonna come and try to count that right um, before that though we need to give this section can you see it's kind of a a little elevated like extrude face so we're gonna shift right mouse click, extrude, and then just push forward right there. And um, I, based on these, it seems like it's a, they kind of a smaller right here, so it's like a bevel. Uh, what we can do is we just offset it. Let's do one. One might be too much, we'll see. I, l let's do just only, how about point five? Here we go. Just a little bit. Okay. And now we're gonna subdivide this because we want to create a fin. But let's add more extra because can you see it's coming out a little bit right there? So extrude one more time and offset to one. Here we go. I think one is Maybe 1.5. I think 1.5 is better. Okay. So, and shift right mouse click. Oh, make sure you go to object mode first and insert edge loop 2. Open up. We want 40. Let me reset. So basically, you want multiply and 40. So 40 so that we get 20 each and have a space between and just click to insert inside there okay and now you just need to select the face and extrude so I can add one two three four and just like this skip one space out ah You can do it like this. Here we go. Select only on the top first and then the bottom. Now forward. Here we go. So now just extrude it and push. Here we go. I think that's about right. Okay. And um, we're going to have to bevel this, this side, just only this side. Because of, if you look, can you see it's kind of curved like that. So we're going to select all the way. And then you bevel it. Here we go. And um, let's press three to see how it looks. I want it to be a little curve. I think that seems good. I mean, let me try point four. A little less. Here we go. 
and then later on we're gonna cut this side like we're gonna get rid of it but we don't want to do that yet we want to stop continuity first because if we do cut it there we're gonna have a little hard time to uh, to get it so right here object so multi-cut loop one loop there press three here we go and then the corner so if you add so here we go and it will stop right there too so now you get that can you see right there press one back let's do it uh, all the way there here we go and I want that too right there and inside here we go so it started to come back a little bit now can you see so now when we bevel though we're gonna have a little bit of work there so um let, let me check see what else do we need to cut to stop continuity let's take a look I think let's take a look at this again right there that's good okay so now let me save this scene we're gonna save to number C okay okay so uh, let's press 3 again one more time so now um, based on the we want to make that a little like on this side little curve like this so what I just did is if I press one I just move only this line down right so I'm gonna undo here we go now before we move that though um, this is how I select it you can double click on the loop and subtract I'm gonna subtract right there here we go the reason that we subtract this because we want to leave this so that that's corner are straight uh, are sharp basically when you press 3 you see it like that I mean unless you want um, this section to be a little rounder we, we can move that later so now we're gonna do that and if I press 3 it look like this so push it down until focus on this section and want it to be like uh, like a uh, ellip or uh, oval shape here we go so we're gonna do the same with the bottom part press one double click on that loop and subtract here we go. subtract it okay and then press three so that you can see how much curve do you want it here we go that's it so I think we are good at the moment go back to one um, now I oh hey guys I totally forgot undo quick um, sorry we need to move these along the edge there because if we move it right here it move can you see the angle there's on object mode we're gonna have to custom it it, it said custom anyway so w left mouse axis custom set to edge and then pick that edge so that they really go can you see now it doesn't shift the geometry it just perpendicular to that edge here we go so let's press three I think that curve is good okay so press one back do the same do again one more time on the for the bottom part and zoom in 
W, left mouse click, custom, set to edge. And then pick that edge. Just move it. Press three so that we can see. Here we go. I want to I want the curve to look like that. So now there's an another things though. Um, these are four corner uh, five corner. We need to cut it. So but before we cut it, we don't have to cut all the way right there because we're going to delete that face anyway, right? So we can cut just only like that. And I do um, this little trick. You click and drag and then click and drag and hold shift. And it seems like if you use the bevels 0.4 as my you will get snapping at 60%. And then uh, if I delete this phase, here we go. I open up the hole. Okay. So when I press 3, it will look like this. See that? Here we go. And then uh, later on, we're going to extrude. So at this moment, you can just go ahead and select, oh, select there and double click here and hit delete. Select the bottom, shift double click the top of the surface there on that section and you just delete them. I mean you can just continue to do it selection first all the way I just hold shift double click so you shift click here and shift double click on the bottom part and I can hit delete and you see shift double click shift double click there we go I didn't check if it's crooked or not. If it does, we can fix them, but it seems good. So I can press 3. See how it looks. Here we go. So it looks alright. Um, this section on the, um, it's more rounded. Can you see? Um, what we can do is uh, basically we need to re- the wire, that wire, this wire need to be spread right there. Okay, so I can uh, turn on move to, press one. This might be too close, so uh, I can grab that in here. And then we can do slide edge, and then slide down. Let me see. Slide it up. Let's press three. Here we go. See, started to round now. So, press one back. I'm gonna slide. How about there and here? Slide it. Oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> right there. Here we go. Let's. Maybe not this one neither. Okay, like that. Press three. Can you see it now started to uh, a little round? Let's do that too. Maybe that one too. Here we go. Slide all the way there. Here we go. So now see it's round more. So you do the same things. Press one. Grab that, um, maybe just right there. One, and how about just only these two? I think that might be enough. Press three. Here we go. 
All right. Come on. Okay. So press one. Grab that. Oh, that one and this one. That one. Slide it. Okay. Press three. Now it's routing. So I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Slide. So when we slide, we kind of uh, maintain the, uh, the 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 three dimensional space of the surface. This moment, I'm just eyeballing it, so they are not ex equal size on left, right. It's okay. It's really um, wrong one. Close to and grab together. Touch it more. Here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna add. Uh, oops, what am I doing? So we're gonna press one. Now we're gonna extrude the whole thing. Extrude. We want a little thickness. So push. Here we go. Oops, sorry. Gotta push this way. Here we go. Can you see I give a little thick, thick span, a uh, thick line, a uh, thick thickness. Here we go. A little more. All right. Let's press three to see if it look okay. Here we go. Nah. That lie. That lie is not good. Hmm. Let me check again. like that okay this is not good I got non manifold hold on something not right when I extrude it this one okay um I think the problem with this is uh, um it has let me get rid of this line this look quick beside there are many section there there is a different level of geometry Somehow Maya could not extrude correctly. Um, now, this is look okay. Let me reduce that. Okay, I know what happened. Um, I think when I move, I move incorrectly. So let me undo it again. Okay. So first, I want you to to be safe. 
can you double click this loop delete it here we go and then now go to object mode delete history alt shift d and then go ahead extrude but this time use this local translate to move just one uh, execute it here we go and then reduce it so now you move that down here we go. and focus on this thickness that thick that's enough so now it should be correctly okay and then we can do a uh, stop continuity let's press three so now this is look correct see I think it's too too thin um, let's highlight extrude under input you can turn on manipulator so that you get this manipulator press one and then move it out just a bit oh can't move it much can you see right there make sure they don't deform oh hey guys one more thing I forgot we should undo because we forgot to, I forgot to uh, split so sorry let's undo undo extrude here we go so now go to object mode and delete that line delete and then delete history alt shift D go to object mode alt shift D here we go so now we need to split this section first I totally forgot here we go 60 here we go so it's gonna take a little bit of time here because you need to split uh, total of, it's about 24 time no no 40 time because uh, it's 20 section uh, 20 fin right and top and bottom so that's 40 time so it's gonna take quite a few minutes there on that space here we go 60 my 60 I mean if you don't get it straight lines not that big deal on this section so I click and drag until stop to that corner click and drag and then add shift to snap execute it enter execute And um, hey guys, this um, no, never mind. I was going to say something. I forgot. Here we go. See, we didn't finish it. We we start to split only the first one. I did. <laughs> I forgot. Here we go. Save your scene often. My crash. Almost. Oh. 
Well, that one is a little off. It's okay. The last one, yes. All right, now I can extrude it again. So delete history, extrude it. Here we go, and I could just move, but here we go. How about that? Okay. So when you move, just make sure um, they don't come overlap like this. So here we go. I think that's all I could do. Really thin, super thin. Okay, what else? Hold on, let me see. Might be too thin here. Make sure nothing overlapping. Okay, let's test. We can come back, press three. If you press three and it looks okay, so it's mean it's okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna cut more. Stop continuity right there press 3 here we go so press 1 do it more right there 3 all right and what else do i need to cut i think press 1 again 3 here we go so i think that's good so we done on this section. Okay. And um, I can delete history and face transform. And then we can put it on the other side. So I'm going to get rid of this section. Select there. Control D, duplicate it. Turn on move to to see where the here we go. So we get a reset that uh, modify. I think um, let's press D quick. D and click. Oh, come on. Press D. Um, we're gonna have to reset this. Oh well, hold on. Let let's do this. Modify, face transform, modify center pivot, and then let's switch to object mode and switch to world space. Um, we're gonna have to mirror it. So what we need to do is uh, we duplicate first. So now we got two pieces of it. And, and then we're going to group it. So we add group node on top. So control G. And then we can put minus 1. It looked like this. Here we go. And can you see? So now you go to edit ungroup. And then you feed transform. And that's it. And I forgot to name. So this one we can call a, what is it? Mm, font. I, know. I don't know what to call that part though. Hold on. Well, let's call site hood. Side hood mesh. Okay. So, and now I have. Oh. Weird. Okay. So that one will be a right side. And this one will be our side. I know why it's not. 
left side. Okay. So, that's it. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. All right. I'm going to save and put this inside mashed layers. <laughs> 